Hello, everybody. Alphablock has built a general AI engine um, with which we are creating intelligent portfolios and intelligence solutions. The main goal is to provide accessibility to wealth creation. And this comes uh, for several reasons. But before getting to that, I would like to start by introducing uh, our team that is uh, currently located in, in two cities. Uh, we are bridging two continents. So the technical team and the full development is happening in Cluj, in Romania. And we have a commercial team that sits in uh, Toronto, in North America. The problem with the asset management space started when passive investment style became uh, more appealing because of the lack of performance of the active investment style. And uh, here we can see in the curves how uh, this progression was happening during the past years. Actually, it's a trend that is uh, happening, as you can see here, for more than, than 15 years. In order to be able to use existing passive investment solutions, the, the main option or the main uh, type of product that is being used today are, is ETFs. Um, you can see the growth, you can see the, the high appetite that is on the market to consume these products. Still, there is a difference between this type of products, ETFs, and uh, mutual funds or hedge funds. Uh, these differences are sitting in, in several areas. One area is the uh, type of performance you can generate. Then you can uh, uh, differentiate them by the type of differences that are created in the fees that you are collecting out of those funds. Uh, where an ETF, uh, you can see, is 25 less um, beneficial, right? Less rewarding than uh, an uh, asset management solution, uh, an evolved one. And nine of 10 of the uh, fund solutions are not performing. What we are, what we are looking at, it's, it's how can you solve this problem where the market is asking for solutions that have a... a smaller risk, so build a portfolio with a smaller risk than uh, the ones that I was presenting before, the ETFs, have a smaller cost and definitely deliver alpha. Because in the ETF case, the alpha delivery is solely uh, guaranteed by the market evolution. We have created a solution that we have listed on NASDAQ uh, it's our flagship demonstration. In 2014, we have listed it as an index to showcase our capability to build these intelligent portfolios that are able to outperform the market's performance, so the market benchmarks, and other solutions. Here we have a comparison with one of the uh, well-rewarded uh, competitors and their, one of their fund's uh, performance. Our process is, is, a, is a very straightforward and simple process that is uh, showcased here, where we are starting with a simple benchmark creation um, that is defining together with the asset manager what is the target benchmark that they want to beat. After that, we are defining the universe, so the, the geographical areas, the market where they want to deploy their solution. After having that universe being selected, we are creating the portfolio based on their mandate. So they are providing us all their mandate uh, criteria to be able to generate the portfolio. So we are fulfilling all their desires or needs, uh, either by, regulation, by regulatory bodies, either uh, requested by their own business model performance requirements. And uh, after having this portfolio being created, we have a automated process that it's helping them rebalance those portfolios. So changing some of the components inside the portfolio as exits and uh, companies that are going to be bought inputs inside the portfolio. During the past seven years, since we are uh, running our solution with live clients, so we had the first client uh, in 2012 in Canada. We have clients in multiple geographies. We are servicing clients in North America, India, and Europe, looking for, for uh, live developments in, in the rest of the world. And the overall average performance of our models was uh, an excess of 6% over the benchmarks of the respective 
markets that we were working on. The differentiators between our solution and the classic solutions that you find on the market uh, for this type of problem are, are sitting in a very uh, different way of looking at data. We are looking for data structure rather than looking for the data content. The classical uh, approach is to harvest a lot of data, to gather all the possible content that you can have and try to understand out of that content how things will evolve into the future. For us, it's more relevant to understand the structure of the data set and understand how that, that structure will evolve into the future without having to have a full understanding of its content. In order to scale our business, we, we have a, um, a need to reduce onboarding time because today the onboarding time is somewhere around eight weeks. So from the first moment we are meeting the asset manager till we are able to provide the, the working solutions, there are eight weeks. Uh, we are now accelerating that process with various automatization, automation and um, robotization processes that are needed to be able to execute the business faster. So you can see uh, attached to our standard procedure the, uh, you know, the single transaction portfolio generation as a, as a capability and also the monthly balancing that are uh, going to be generated automatically. Now, I've been speaking until now about alpha. Alpha is everything that exceeds the benchmark, so any value that you can generate above the benchmark of the market is called alpha. For us, alpha is intelligence because it means that you should be able to anticipate where the market is going, hence be more intelligent than the market. The second part of our name is block. And the block comes from blockchain and comes from blockchain because once we are generating an anticipation solution, everybody else that wants to validate it, to audit it into the future, has a better option to go and validate that data inside the blockchain repository. Here we are showcasing the capability that we are generating through that type of uh, infrastructure layer, which is the distributed ledger uh, infrastructure, where by storing the performance, the portfolio structure, and all the related analytical data sets that an asset manager needs to be able to assess such a process, it's providing a lot of advantages because you have an easiness of access, you have all the authentication capabilities plus all the encryption layers that you can add on top to be able to manage who has the right to see which part of the data set that you, we are storing in that framework. Now, this is in brief uh, what we do and how we do it and I will be happy to take uh, questions. Uh, thank you very much. Okay, so let's have uh, some questions from for uh, Andre Nagy. Okay, who would like the first uh, first question? Yeah, my my question is uh, if you can elaborate a bit on the um, AI that you're using. Uh, I mean, what type of solution is it? I don't know. Recurrent neural networks is something else, uh, uh, because general AI is a very ambitious term, uh, and uh, I just would like to understand a bit better. Thank you. We call it general AI simply because what I have not mentioned yet uh, in the presentation is that the solution is unaware that the data set that is being consumed to make the anticipation comes and is representing prices of the stocks. So the data set that we are analyzing can be from any domain and the solution does the same thing anticipating its future evolution at a data set level. So this is the first part that is for us why we call it general AI. The second part uh, to answer your, to your question is that we are not using the, uh, what is known as uh, AI related to machine learning, neural networks, and other techniques. We are rather using a proprietary solution, proprietary framework that is combining statistical laws with laws from physics, and we are creating a probabilities framework that doesn't the anticipation. So it's a probabilistic based environment out of which we can anticipate the future evolution of the data set. Thank you. Another question? I'm looking for. Okay. Another one. Okay. Please. 
you, you run the solution on, uh, on past data and validated it. And, and, and I think in the investment world, there are many, let's say, formulas that work very well on past data, but for some reason they don't work all, uh, many of them do not work in, in, the, in the future, right? I mean, it's, uh, there's, a, I don't know, the green, green book formula and other stuff that uh, has, um, uh, that works statistically very well on the past. And uh, how can you ensure that? Because, you know, even in AI, you have this overfitting that, you know, it works well on the training data, but when it comes to uh, the future, yeah. it's, it, it doesn't deliver. So th have you checked that? Uh, as I mentioned before, this was the reason f for which we have published that index, mm -hmm. to be able to showcase live performance publicly available for everybody from a third party validated uh, source. Because I don't have the slide here, but you can all search online the ticker of the index that we have listed in 2014, RMI VG20. And that index is built again to showcase that capability to be able to create a portfolio in 2014 that will outperform the market into the future, in its future evolution. So you could see the curve, and that's why I was showcasing in the presentation a comparison with another possible competitor where this capability has been already validated in real life scenarios. This is one public showcase. We have multiple showcases with existing clients. Unfortunately for the, the, the general public, that data set is not publicly available. Still, it is used by us in all the due diligence processes that we are uh, executing with new and future clients. So whenever we were interacting with the new client, this is the first question that is being asked and many others are, are coming afterwards. And our vision is to create this repository of existing or historical performances being generated by the models where everybody can scrutinize them and uh, validate it for themselves, right? Get a proper uh, uh, known validation, a proper own validation by just looking at the data set that was created and being immutable, uh, nobody could have been changing it, hence uh, validating the performance. Super, okay, so thank you very much, Andre. We'll have the Prosecco bar after that and it will be easier for, to put questions.